a good afternoon and welcome back to where nothing happened. And if you believe that you're full of shock mattered. So, as I suspected last yesterday, we did get some more snow. I'm getting my exercise though, as much as I despise shoveling. All on the upside, there's not as much as we normally would get. Normally, our first couple of dunks, it's quite a lot. I got hair in my face. Yeah. Normally, it's quite a lot of snow. It's like, like, not so much this winter. It's been, it's kind of been swelled a little bit. And now, the weather's kind of catching up. Like, okay, time for a little bit of snow. Farmers better not complain. That's all I gotta say about that. Farmers are gotta better not be complaining. You hear me? You hear me? Do you hear me? You hear me. I know you hear me. And I was just like, Chris, shut up. Anyways, yesterday, and I forgot to mention this last night. The Torino, no, wait, not Torino. The Milan slash Cortina then paid so. Well, the hosts of the 2026 Winter Olympics, unveiled their mascots. Tina and Milo. Tina for Cortino and Milo for Milan. Tina is the mascot for the Winter Olympics and Milo is the mascot for the Paralympics. And earlier today, I think it was this morning, Paris unveiled their medals. Their Olympic and Paralympic medals. They're nice. They even got a little bit of the got pieces of the of the Eiffel Tower. They, wait, what now? Isn't it? Well, they did have a heavy renovation. This is some of the original metal from when it was first built. So, and they kind of renovated and had some metal left over. So they just incorporated it into the metal, which is, I think, interesting. So, yes. So, yes. Now. I'm ready for baseball season. All the schedules are in this magazine right here. It's got Vladdy Guerrero on the front. Ah, and with the Jays getting Justin Turner, maybe he actually might smarten up some of those hitters. Which is probably why they all... You think George Springer would have... Nah. George Springer, Justin Turner should have really smart those batters up, really. Some of them are, they could do really, really good. Uh, they just do god awful. Might be a little cocky, too, so that's just me, though. So, those are. I don't even know how many topics I covered here. Okay, I think it was four. So we're going to do Jeopardy time. Yesterday's category was webcams for a thousand. Answer. In 2021, this hot spot on Sicily put on quite a show for viewers of its webcam. Question. What is Mount Etna? What is Mount Etna? Where is Mount Etna? Well, clearly Mount Etna is on Sicily. Double Jeopardy time. Holidays and observes <laughs> holidays and observances for four hundred. Double Jeopardy answer. The last Monday in March is celebrated as Seward's Day in this state. And at the time, it was known as Seward's Folly. He's like, what's he talking about? Well, William Seward, I think in eighteen sixty seven, purchased Alaska from Russia. And boy, did Russia make a mistake doing that. They just did some exploring. They would have kept her. And the... So anyways, William Seward purchased Alaska from Russia and in 1959 became a U.S. state. So the answer is Alaska. So 
So as it was Seward's day, it leads to William Seward, which leads to Seward's folly, which is the purchase of Alaska, with the answer being Alaska. So got that chain got that chain there. Good for you. And if you didn't get that chain, well, look up William Seward. Oh, where else can I add? Ah, uh, the Scotties start next Friday. Can't believe they already start next Friday, and they go to the 25th. Next Friday is also when I get my eyes checked, and I have my meeting with my dietitian. So I'm going to be a little busy next Friday. So stop me. Let's see, what else? Honestly, I don't know. I don't know, 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 I don't know. So, on that note, I shall end this video right here. So in the meantime, and in between time, stay tuned for the next one.